easy mounts. In WoW there are tons of quick and easy mounts you can obtain within the game. So today we'll be going over the 10 easy mounts to get in WoW. Let us begin. Coming in at number one we have the Drake of the North Winds. This mount can be obtained from the dungeon the Vortex Pinnacle from the boss Ultras at a 0.7% drop chance. This mount can be farmed on heroic and normal so if you are wanting to blast through getting this mount then running this on normal mode will be the fastest way as you have 10 lockouts you can do per hour as opposed to one per day for heroic along with this as a side note you will also gain quite the nice amount of volatile air which you then can sell on the auction house for a tidy sum of gold next up at number two is the reins of the swift white hawk strider this mount can be farmed from the dungeon magister's terrace on heroic difficulty this mount will drop from the last boss of the dungeon Kelthus Sunstrider at a 4% drop chance and due to it only being able to farm this once per day an alt army would be the preferred method to speed the chances of getting this mount up and along with this Magister's Terrace is also located within the Isle of Queldenas. Following on to this at number three we have the Reigns of Poseidus mount. This mount can be farmed in the Shimmering Expanse and the Abyssal Depth. From the rare spot Poseidus. This mount is 100% drop chance and can either be farmed for, from the boss Poseidus or you can always purchase this from the auction house for a reasonable price. On my server it's currently going for around about 8k. Poseidus spawns every four hours in Vashir and from my experience I have the best luck farming this mount at around 9 o'clock in the morning. All locations for this mount is located within my add-on Worth It Guides. Next up at number 4 we have the Amani Battle Bear. This mount is 100% drop chance from the dungeon Zulaman. The way you obtain this mount is that you are on a timer to defeat all four of the priest bosses. Make sure that the last boss you slay is Halazi. Once defeating all four bosses you should see Kash a female troll within a cage. Speak to this NPC and she will then start smashing vases around the boss room and upon the third vase is destroyed it will have a bag on the floor which you can click to obtain this mount. Coming in at number five we have the primordial diahorn mounts. Here you'll be farming in multiple of the Pandaria zones. This will be for the Warbringer rares. This will be at coordinates 5217 in the Jade Forest, 3688 in Taolong Steps, 39 and 66 for Krasarang Wilds, 75, 62 in the Kun Lai Summit and 47, 60 in the Dread Wastes. Here you have a 5% chance to get three different primordial diahorn mounts. These are the Amber, Jade and Slate diahorn mounts. These rare elites can be farmed once each per hour and will take around 10 minutes to farm all of these rares for a chance of these mounts. Next up at number six we have the Vitreous Stone Drake. This mount can be farmed from the boss Slab Hide in the dungeon of the Stone Core which is located within Deep Home for a 0.7% drop chance. This can also be farmed much like the Drake of the North Winds on her normal and heroic modes which the better option is always normal mode. Being it being the second boss you will be able to run in and reset the dungeon pretty dang fast as there is a platform that takes you back to the beginning again for quick easy resets of this dungeon. Following on to this at number seven we have the primal raptor mounts. These can be obtained from the primal egg after a three day waiting period from obtaining it from any of the dinosaurs from the Isle of Giants. At a 34% drop chance for either the red, green or black primal raptors this is definitely one of the easiest ways to get some cool mounts for your collection. Coming in at number eight we have the reputation locked mount of the disc of the red flying cloud. This is obtained from being exalted with the law walkers in Pandaria. This is where you'll have to follow around the zones of Pandaria and collect the scrolls dotted around. I have added this reputation guide to my add-on worth it guide showing you all of the spawn locations and it will take you roughly around about 30 to 40 minutes to become exalted with this faction though it can take up to an hour if you are slower and just taking your time. Next up at number 
number nine, we have the Black and Twilight Drake from the Obsidian Sanctum raid, relocated within Dragonblight. This is where you have to run into the raid and slay a boss there named Satharian while leaving the trash mobs up. By doing this on 25 and 10 man respectively, you will be able to obtain both of these mounts in no time at all as they are 100% drop chance, providing that you don't destroy any of the trash. Lastly on our list we have the jewel mount farm in the dungeon Zul'Gurub for the armored Rizashi Raptor and the swift Zillion Panther which are 0.7% and 0.8% drop chance for these mounts respectively. The Rizashi Raptor comes from the boss Blood Lord Mandakir and the swift Zillion Panther drops from the boss High Priestess Kilnara. These mounts can be farmed once per day per character and is recommended to farm this with an alt army for a chance of these mounts. Other than that guys that is my pick for the 10 easy mounts to get and how to get them. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.